But does it make you happy? Truly happy? Oh, well, come on. No one's truly happy. I'm truly happy. Oh, God. No, you're cheery. No one's interested in the secret to true cheeriness. No, that's not true. I'm fairly often just completely happy. Like, for instance, when you get into a bath quickly and it's just the right temperature and you go, Ugh. I mean, no one really gets any happier than that. What a depressing thought. Oh, no, it's not, though. Because those sorts of things happen all the time, whereas you're hardly ever, you know, blissfully happy with the love of your life in the moonlight, and when you are, you're too busy worrying about it being over soon. Whereas the bath moments, there's loads of those. Oh, or like when you realize your knuckles are ready for cracking, or... Apples. Oh no, please spare us the crisp crunch of the first bite of an apple. No, no, of course not. No one really likes apples. That would be like liking... wood. No, no, I mean this. Tossing an apple from hand to hand just feels really nice. I could do it for hours. Try it. Hi, my name is Marie, and this is my first episode in our new vlog series, Musketeer Madness. That opening segment was a scene from John Fenimore's radio series, Cabin Pressure, which I would highly recommend to anyone interested in the secrets of true happiness and true cheeriness but in any case has a lot to do with what my vlog is going to be about. First, some background. I was cleaning up my closet last night, putting clothes away and arranging some crafting box and that kind of a thing, when I found an old journal of mine. I used to journal pretty regularly back in high school and college, so I was super excited when I found it, and I thought, heck yeah, I don't want to be cleaning, I'm going to read this cool journal, it's going to be great! It was not great. So in the spirit of full disclosure, uh, my brain is a little bit screwed up. Um, I have problems with social anxiety, and probably a little bit of depression, and it's really easy for my brain to just fixate on the worst possible anything. Um, but it's gotten so much better, I just want to say, and at this point in time, it's almost completely manageable, and I'm really good. I'm really good. But back at the time that I was writing this journal, um, I was two states away from home. I felt like I had no friends. I, I slept all the time, except when I was in class, and I couldn't even get the courage to go to the dining hall, which meant that I was eating maybe a can of soup a day, if, if I was lucky. It was, it, was, it was really bad. It was really bad. But I forgot how bad it was until I was looking through this journal, and I realized that this was only two or three years ago. It was really weird, not just because of where I am now, but because of where I was just two or three years before that. When I was in high school, uh, towards the end of high school, um, I still had all the, the social anxiety problems and all that, but I felt really strong. I had a good circle of friends, I was working so hard to be better, I just started therapy, I was trying new things, I was participating in class. I remember at one time, um, my American history teacher was talking to us about philosophy, uh, mostly about Aristotle's Nicomachean Ethics, and we talked a lot about happiness, and what it means to be happy, what makes you happy, um, the people you're with, the things that you do, the amount of money you have, whatever. And this might sound kind of pretentious and fake, but I remember at the time being really confused, because I didn't understand the idea of something making you happy. Happiness, to me, wasn't a thing that you do, it's a thing that you are. You are happy. I was happy because I was happy, there was nothing else, and in spite of all the nonsense that was going on. And then just a couple years later, I was such a mess that I had to transfer schools and come home because I couldn't handle it, and that's crazy to me. But even now, with all the progress that I've made in the last couple of years, I'm definitely still not back that happy to be happy state of mind. So just like good old Arthur in Cabin Pressure with his juggling apples, I'm gonna start focusing on the little things in my life. So every week on Wednesdays, if all goes according to plan, I'm gonna upload a video about something silly that brings me happiness. Um, my hope is that if I spend a week thinking, oh god, what am I gonna say on Wednesday? I have a video due, oh no, oh no, then that's a week I'm spending thinking about happiness, and that's a huge improvement. And I get to do it with my two very best friends, the Musketeers, who will also be uploading videos about cool, good, happy things, and I have no idea what those videos are going to be about, but I am so excited to learn. I'm gonna stop there, but I just want to say thank you so much for listening and for putting up with my very fast talking and closeness to the computer screen, and I really look forward to sharing with you next week. I don't know what I'm gonna talk about, but I have so many ideas, and that is just super duper exciting. In the meantime, please check out Sabina and Kristen's videos. I'm sure they will be up soon, and I hope you all have an awesome week. Thank you very much.